Welcome back, big dogs. Today I'm going to show you how to extract the eigenfrequencies from the history output. So, if you come over here to create XY data, you have ODB history output. And if you click this, you have several variables right here that you can access and plot. But what if you want to pull that into an Excel file or something like that? Well, you can either, you know, save it right here and then go in here and copy the data and, and pull it in Excel or you can write a script to do it for you. In this case I'm going to show you the script option. <clears throat> so we're going to do the eigenfrequencies in this case. So this is the script right here. We first start out and pull in the imports we need. I'm going to pull in the NumPy module right here or NumPy package to allow us to extract the data and save it in a CSV file. Next here are our inputs we need to access the history output variables. In this case I have our ODB file name right here and then I have the step we need to access and then the variable eigenfrequency and then the region we want to access in our history regions container. And you can find most of these in Abacus. So you can see here if we go to job what we have is our ODB database right here, PSD, that's what I'm accessing. And then our step is over here. So our modal step is right here. That's the one we're pulling out our history output from. And then if you go into the visualization module and go back to history output, you can kind of pull, see the variables right here. And then if it says whole model, that's short for assembly assembly re history region um, so once you have all that information that you need then you can specify a file location to save your CSV file in this case I'm just copying a location and then pasting it in here and then adding backslashes two backslashes so that Python doesn't freak out and then here's our file name I'm calling it modes so this is where the code really starts. We access our ODB by opening it and then what we do is we go through and we pull out our history output array right here using this line of code. So in this case we're opening the ODB and then we're accessing this modal step and then we're going into the history region. This region is assembly assembly and then we access the history outputs and then we put in our variable that we want to access and then we end it with dot data. This basically pulls it in and the data and then we put it into a numpy array and then this line right here saves it to a CSV file where a delimiter is a comma and then we formatted them to integers and then we added a couple headers. So that's all I did and we can run the script and see what we get. Load extraction script. It ran it. Now we can go look at it. There's our mode CSV file. We click on that and give it a couple seconds to open. And then we have our modes and then our natural frequencies right there. That's how you do it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Adios.